Now what? A couple more things. Oh. All right. Yeah. Um, um, about so the, about the uh, department wide in person uh, harassment diversity training in well, person. If I can, just before that. Okay. I still think we need to get to the root of all of the issues and concerns. Um, I do think that we should still conduct additional investigations, and I'm not necessarily pointing them at the chief, although he probably is included in that, but to see what else is going on. I, I have no problem going, as the mayor said. I'm game with, with that. With Let's lay third, it all out with, there. With a third party investigator. Um, so that this way we can come back when we know the issues and we can come up with solutions. The current investigator is here. I'd at yeah. least like to see what she has to say or recommend. I just figured out so who that, she is. So that, but... you know, we, we know what we need to continue to pursue. Okay. Is she, where is she? Hey, Rhea Chattergoon is here. She's been sitting very patiently tonight. We haven't had a 12 o'clock meeting in years, <laughs> so I apologize. Good night, everyone. My name is Rhea Chattergoon. I was the investigator on the matter. I wrote the report that you guys have been debating all night. Um, just a little bit about myself for the public, because you don't know me at all. I, I'm sorry? No, oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, I'm an attorney. I've been an attorney for 18 years. I practice in the field of employment discrimination. I represent both employer and employees, and I conduct investigations, third-party investigations. I've conducted a number of investigations for a number of police departments in South Florida, and um, I'm happy to entertain any questions you may have. I know I, there were there were there was one report regarding the limited scope of the text messages um, during that investigation there were some other issues that were raised um, by police officers uh, who i investigate who i interviewed during the investigation sorry it's late <laughs> and uh, there were some issues that concerned me which is why i prepared a second correspondence um, addressing those issues and suggesting and recommending a um, continued investigation on those issues. The scope of my investigation with regard to the text messages, um, like I said, were limited. Uh, there, there were some issues that I did want to explore, but I didn't um, because the scope was determine whether the text messages existed, um, whether they were sent, and to determine whether hostile work environment and or discrimination was present. Um, as been discussed tonight, the chief did admit to sending the text messages. Um, what concerned me about the text messages was not just that they were sent, but the tone of the message. Um, there were some portions of the messages that were included, uh, specifically that the chief did not want to promote Lieutenant Marrero. Um, I believe she's had a name change, I apologize. Um, <clears throat> he did not want to promote her and that he would demote her if, if, if he could. Um, that was alarming to me. And I don't, let me, let me say, I don't live in your city. I never Googled anything about your city before the investigation. I do that purposely because I don't want to be influenced. Um, and actually, today was the first day I found out that there was a no confidence vote. I had no communications with um, the, the PBA um, president or anything like that. So today was the first day I found that out sitting here in this meeting. Um, you do have some issues uh, within the police department. Uh, that I think need to be investigated, whether it's me or another investigator. I do think um, from a legal perspective, you want to look into some of those issues. Um, that was part of my job was not only ascertaining whether the text messages existed, but also to, do, to determine what liability, if any, there would be for the city. Um, and so I think in order to give an opinion on that, a further investigation is needed. May I ask what things you suggest we 
additionally look into. I know you had mentioned a couple of things in the report. Are there any other things that maybe weren't mentioned? Um, I, my, I prepared a second correspondence. I'm not sure if that's already public, mm -hmm. um, yeah. been made yes. public. Um, but there was there was with um, Sergeant Blanton, the promotional exam, which you guys have already discussed tonight. Um, there, there, I'll be very honest with you, there, there was a discussion with the canine unit um, and the, pro, the, the promotion in that um, portion of it with a female officer and that she had to go through additional hoops to get the same treatment as a male officer. So that was a little um, concerning and I think it should be looked into a little bit more than I was given the opportunity to. And do you, do you think, and I don't want specific names or anything like that, but do you think in fairness to the chief that there's potentially other bad actors that the city needs to look at or is it strictly I can't comment on that because the scope of my investigation was the complaint to towards the chief or against the chief. Um, so I can't really comment on that. I mean, I, I will tell you from interviewing the various police officers that, you know, you have some other issues going on in the department that you guys have, have, have discussed here and that the residents have raised um, and the police officers have raised. So. I, I can't really comment on that because I don't have the facts for that to support that. Well, because I clearly read all of that. No one woke up that morning and decided to make the comment that we read. Yet there was nothing prior to to show me how that came about. Because again, and I have no intentions of ever repeating what the comment was but it was a standalone and I didn't see what had been asked in before that to have elicited something like that. And I think <clears throat> it's curious that if we're gonna see some, show me all. You understand what I'm saying to you? I, yes, I, I understand. And I, I think you're referring to that one text message, which yes. I won't repeat. Correct. Um, Prior to that, and I believe I produced the chain of text messages that I did receive. Um, I, I'm going to I'm going to tell you that the way I got it, some of them were repeated constantly, but I didn't have a time or a date to know what really came, and that made it very difficult. The ones I never wanted to see again were over and over and over, and I had no context as to where it really belonged. But if I read it the way I read it. I should have seen something that brought up that whole subject because again I don't believe you just wake up in the morning and decide to make a comment like that unless somehow it was elicited from you or the other person was having a conversation that led to it. I, I do think it was a conversation that led to it. I do believe the chain of text messages that I uh, were able to obtain um, and, and, and let me make it clear I had to really seek to get those text messages. I heard Sergeant Horn get up here and talk about, you know, the releasing of the text messages. Um, I did have to hunt those down and that's why my investigation took a little bit longer uh, than it, it probably should have. Um, the chain of messages is a conversation between two people. Mm -hmm. um, one of those people, Sergeant Horn, happened to be Lieutenant Marrero's subordinate. subordinate right. And so the chain of text messages as I read them was Sergeant Horn making a comment about Lieutenant Marrero and then that's where the, the comment came in. And in fairness, I would have liked to have seen Sergeant Horn's comment because as passionate as he was standing here, we need I, this. I do believe it's in that. It's in the cloud. In, yeah. Well, yeah, well, it's in the cloud. I don't. I have I haven't been elevated yet, and I'm in no rush to get there. I do believe but, those are in the additional text messages yeah, yeah. I, I. But I, I attached. I, all right, then maybe I'm missing something because I sure as heck did not see what elicited that response. But I also have to know that having read just that section, not the the second section, the addendum part, mm -hmm. which is clearly only about one particular thing in a promotion, that. Oh, that's taxis here. I didn't, uh -huh. that wasn't as offensive to me as the first part for obvious reasons, because the second part was about 
someone who should never have said to a subordinate, congratulations, there's something coming. And they were in Barcelona when they heard that. So I got that. And I understood why that didn't happen because someone did not retire. Nobody's fault. And I get the fact that the second time it probably didn't happen because a list expired. And the third time, am I, if I'm wrong, tell me. Tell well, me. well, I think that's part of my recommendation um, for the second part is why was that list allowed to be expired? And okay. I think that needs to be looked into. Okay. Which has a lot to be to fair, do with my, which has a lot to be doing with, with the, the way context we do all of, of this, correct? Right, which would never have come to us otherwise, because it's just not part of our purview. I, it disturbed me that all of that came the way it came, because there were also text messages there that said to somebody, stop, I didn't have anything to do with it. Now, if that's not true, and that person had something to do with it, then we need to know that too. Correct. But yeah. You know, just, uh, I, I don't have the answers to your question because that's why I recommended an additional investigation. Gotcha. Thank you. Commissioner Simone. I think we, I think we need to uh, keep her. She's already started. And to start with somebody brand new is just gonna open everything up again and take even longer. But I also think that we need to give her free reign to do a complete investigation and ask the questions and seek the answers that she wants to seek. Let me just correct that. It's not seek the answers I want to seek. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Well, the, the, the problem is, well, the problem is I hear your residents. And so let me be clear, I've never met any of the commission. This is the first day I'm actually meeting them. Um, this is, and, and I do this purposely when I do investigations because I do want it to be a neutral investigation, you know. I, I don't have anything against Chief Galaska. I met him for the first time in the interview. And I explained to him during the interview, you know, I'm going to have to say, you wrote these messages because I have them. And he understood that. Um, so, you know, I, I, I want to be very clear that, you know, as an investigator, you don't have a dog in the fight, right? Um, I don't live in your city. This isn't going to affect me, um, regardless of the decision, regardless of the decision, if I if you keep me to continue the investigation, I think even if you hire another investigator <clears throat> that comes in, they're going to have to read my report and sort of go from there. Um, and any qualified investigator will be able to do that. Um, my qualifications come from I represent both employer and employees. I represented cities before I represented employees who sue cities. Um, so I, I do have that unique experience with that. And I think, you know, that's why your, your city attorney reached out to me. Would you agree that regardless of who continues this, it needs to be beginning, a middle and an end. And so if people have grievances, they need to have a, a timely amount of time to, to bring it forward because I don't want to keep hearing about this five months later when somebody just thought of something new. But if indeed this is a deep seated problem, then we need to know about it. it can I answer that, David? <laughs> okay. I'm not saying anything. Um, my, my, my only comment to that is based on my investigation, I will tell you that there is a deep seated fear of retaliation From within home. the department. From whom? From the police officers that I have interviewed. No, no, I know, but from from whom? From the chief? Or retaliation from whom? Yes, it can't be from yes, us from because... from from the top, from the chief. Okay, and so, you know, that always, and and the police department, fire department is very unique in their culture because it's not, it's not a culture where you go complain against someone within the department. Um, I think you saw the. The text messages that said, you know, you broke bro code or you you crossed the blue line. You 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 see things like that when I do investigations. So I think putting a time limit, I mean, you, I'm sure you can, you know, we have statutes of limitations in different types of cases, that sort of thing. You could do that, but I think you need to be sensitive to your employees and then the particular agencies that you're working with, because it, there's different cultures within each agency. No, I just meant with this one. When this goes on, I would like to hope that this 
something that comes from the investigation, but yet six months after it's over with, to have somebody say, gee, I forgot something that happened three years ago. There's got to be a beginning, a middle, and an end so that some kind of decision is made without somebody saying, I should have told you this. Or, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I would agree with that in, in, in fairness right. to the chief. Yeah. In fairness to everybody. To everyone. Including us sitting up here. So, yeah, I mean, I do think that if you are going to continue the investigation, um, that maybe a statement be put out that, you know, if you have a complaint, if something's going on, this is the time you, you're allowed to do it. I don't know what the charter says. I, I haven't reviewed I no your charter, idea. all of that. Uncharted so you'd have to get territory. guidance from David on that. And, and regardless of whether it's the chief or not, if there are some deep seated problems that have been going on for 10 years, five years, we need to know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't think for one moment it's all about him. I think there's been a culture for a very long time that either people have learned to live with, retired from, or, or, you know, or whatever, or found themselves moving, having been upward, upward, upward mobility and it didn't become a problem anymore. But I believe it's way more than just today or what I've read, because it, it has to be. And, and I heard that today. Um, let me be just very clear. My investigation was based on this complaint. No, I know that. I, no, I did no, I not that. look into what happened with the former chief. No, I know that. You know, former complaints, any other complaints. I wasn't even aware that there were any other complaints. My scope was very limited to this complaint. It would just be my hope that if we continue to do this, we get to hear the deep seated things that aren't about this, but people right. have been hanging on to for the longest time. That was my only comment. All right. No. Is there anybody, anybody else? Thank you, I appreciate okay. it. Thank, thank you, you very much. You. Thank you, thank you for thank sitting you. here so long. Yes, thank you. So is there anything else? I, I would say that we should have <clears throat> some, something where we can implement some policy to try to... Uh, and does that take a special meeting for us to do it so we can all sit down together with... I think so. I think, yeah, I think this is something that's definitely going to... Sooner than later, gonna, very gonna, much. Yeah, going gonna, gonna, gonna to be... To... And we just, we just figure it out. And you know, go by the complaints invite, that we had. I would also invite... <clears throat> oh, I would. I would. I would, I would like for Mr. Skirvin to show up. And, uh, you know, because we, I heard tonight that there's some... Uh, Deep concerns, but they're they're contract related. Um, well, and he needs, you know, what he has to have a seat at the table. This can't be uh, done in isolation. Whatever it no. is, it is. No, it's going to be a joint effort. And uh, in terms of the investigation, yeah. I was going to make a motion. Yeah, where, where do we where do we go with that? So I'd like to make a motion that we retain uh, this investigator to um, investigate what she feels. Yeah needs to be investigated in regard to this case. Joanne, I'll second. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to speak on that. I don't mind the investigation. However, I'm going to be very candid, I'll be as candid as I can, because I am. And I found out that it was our attorney's firm who knew this woman. That was a bad start. I'll leave that to your imagination. Second is I did a little background on Miss Rita. Rita. Rita? What's her name? Rita. Rita? Rita. Yeah. Rita. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And <clears throat> she's definitely pro woman, which I get. I understand nothing, that. Nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with it, but when you're investigating something with a hostile work environment with women, let's be a little bit more unjudgmental from the beginning. Maybe we should get some trans people to do it then. Is that what you're saying? Trans people? Is that what you're saying? I mean, that what, a, a yeah. guy can't do it or a girl can't do it? I mean, it's not what I'm what saying, What are you talking man. about? Yeah, I'm trying to be as honest as I am. Uh, uh, My head wasn't splitting. I just asked before. for a fair investigation being done. Yeah, none of us want anything that's unfair. Okay, then from the beginning, let's start with someone new. And start fresh. That's all I'm saying. Well, 
But then don't you have to bring them up to speed and, and slow the, the process? Because it's a new person who has no clue, hasn't spoken well, I, I, to somebody I think before. that if we want to get this done right, I don't think that there should be a time on it. I think that it should <laughs> no, all investigate it. But I think it should be fair. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna look into, uh, I mean, basically the second part, the the end or the supplemental, whatever you want to call it, was about the hostile work environment for the women. I just heard a bunch of men talk tonight that are pissed. I didn't hear anything about hostile men in, in the environment. Just want to be fair. Miss, yeah. Good job. Did a check on her. Pro woman. I'm going to say anti-man, and I just think it would be more level playing field to do an investigation with somebody new. Can she please get up and answer that? What's that? I'd like her to get up and, and answer that. She can answer can it. Ask her? I'm not sure how to take that comment pro woman. Um, well, well I, I, I just, the groups that you're involved with, you just want to tell the public? The groups that I'm involved with, yeah. um, as far as law, law associations? No, just in general. You. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but let me be very clear. Okay. I conducted a neutral third party investigation. Okay. There was nothing pro woman about my investigation. My investigation was based on the facts as I ascertained them and then and analyzed against the law, which is my specialty. I have been an employment lawyer for 18 years. I'm very good at what I do. Um, but let me, I've never met David or Caroline before. I've worked with their firm, but I've never met David. I, I wasn't sure what that comment was about. Um, but I was hired because of my qualifications. I also want to mention that two of the men that I interviewed, in addition to the women, specifically stated to me that they believed the chief had a bias against women, female officers. I think that's clearly put in my report. So it wasn't my opinion. I took the facts as I investigated them and I wrote a report based on those facts. There was no bias on my end. I have investigated other police um, departments. I've investigated other police chiefs similar complaints, more egregious complaints, and not found in anyone's favor. And again, I did not make any recommendations. If you read the report on hiring, firing, suspension, because that is your job as the commission. So I reported the facts as I found them. To say that I am pro-woman, I, I mean- It's that's not a bad an, thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, sorry. I'm, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad I'm thing. Saying, it's, but, it's, but, it's, but it is an opinion before, that you and I have not spoken um, not spoke at that. all. Um, but I think, you know, it, it's sort of damaging to my reputation as an investigator for you to say that in a in a capacity as a mayor who hired me to conduct an investigation. And I'm not you know, you may never hire me again after this, but I will say that is damaging to my reputation as an investigator. And I think you should be a little bit more conscious of saying things like that in your position as a mayor. Um, I, and I will say during the investigation, I did not put this in the report. I took it out of my report. I put it in and I took it out. One of the things that was said to me by every single person I interviewed was that this was going to go nowhere because you are friends with the mayor. I'm sure you've heard and that. I And I didn't sure. think that was fair to put in the report because I didn't, I don't know you. I don't want to, and I don't want to disparage you. And that had nothing to do with the scope of the investigation. So I just put that to say, you know, I'm sorry. I, I reported the facts as they were told to me. 
Okay, so, I you- and I think any investigator is going to do that. Okay. Any any person who does their job properly. Okay, but I heard you say before you used the word bro bro code and, and stuff that. Those were in the text messages, sir. I'm, I'm just that saying. wasn't those weren't I'm, my I'm words. I'm just saying. So getting back to the original investigation, you were asked to investigate the text messages, correct? Correct. So how did it go into all this other stuff? Was that asked for you to do or did you just do that? What other stuff? The, the addendum or the supplemental pages. Those were things that I determined during the investigation, facts that were told to me but that asked, I felt that it was important that? that you knew. Were you asked to do that? No, I was not. And in fact, I conducted my investigation and then alerted your city manager and your city attorney that there could be potential li- other liability for the city. And I put it in a letter to alert you to that because that is the proper thing to do. And what, what, were, what were they again, the liabilities? So being sued. Gender Possibly. discrimination. Yeah. Yeah. You, have a, you, you have a potential liability of gender discrimination, sir. But now we don't? Now you don't what? I'm asking you. You put it in the report that there's a possibility. I, I don't know because I haven't invest, further investigated it. Isn't it in the report, though? In which report? No, she, I think- the summary? The, 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 the second report that Ms. Chattergoon provided laid out a couple of factual uh, instances where she's concerned about potential liability. Mm-hmm. Okay, But she did not further that investigation because that was not within her scope. Okay. So the, the words potential liability are there, but you know, it all depends. Which on means it might are. be or it might not be. Right. She right. Hasn't gone Correct. That and, and that is just issue spotting for me as, as an attorney and as an investigator to say to you as the commission, look at this, you may need, you may want to look at you this. Need to go, you might yeah. need to go further. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And my right. assumption Commissioner be- Caggiano. Uh, I just, I just want to get this moving. I think the city needs, and by the way, I want the investigation. I want to see all the pus come out. Oh, jeez. No, this is poisonous. So that's fine. This it's is just poisonous. an analogy that I couldn't handle. Well, I'm sorry. You know what? Well, we got to bust this, this pimple, and we need to get this stuff out. Guys, well, the, tonight's a night of really good uh, homages or whatever you want to call them. Horrible uh, analogy. Horrible, but you know what? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I know. What this stuff saying. needs to come out. The only way we can clean this stuff up is if all of it comes out. And then we deal with it so that we can go move forward. So I have no problem with uh, continuing the investigation because I don't want anyone to ever say that we did not do our due diligence and didn't look into this stuff when we had an opportunity. And what? And and with put, your, put your mic on. With, who? with the current firm to continue where they left off, or? I, oof, I don't have a problem either way. Uh, I like the report. I mean, not that I like the report. I mean, it was well written. Um, it wasn't full of a lot of opinion, it was filled with items. Uh, I want a fact-based report, not an opinion-based report. And uh, so I don't have a problem with continuing with her, but I also don't have a, a, a problem uh, going with somebody else. What I have a problem with is if we don't do a continuing investigation. My, 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 my gut is continue it with her. Okay. And then based on those findings, bring in a consultant, not an investigator, but bring in an HR consultant to let us know how to address the issues so that we could set the chief up for success. Sold. I got, I you know, it good. didn't go my way, but like I said, in the beginning, I'm going to work with whoever I need to work with to bring this department and try to make everything work. And you didn't think we were going to agree tonight once we got started, huh? If you need to bring in an HR consultant, what do you do with your HR director? Well, listen, it, this is only a short thing. This is, this is, no, no, this is, it, look, it, it, we, need an, we need phone. outside eyes on this. We need because outside the HR eyes. Person looks at discipline and I'm talking about rec- making rec- policy recommendations, whether it's the hiring process, the civil service. Somebody you know, explain all, to me the, the, what the director functions are in our HR department if we're going to have to hire somebody to do that job. 
So maybe I just think that well, when we've been in these situations before with internal investigations, they're always questioned by one side or the other. That's right. So That's right. if we finish the investigation, we continue it, we get the results, we hire an expert that can bring rec we're the policymakers, but then can bring recommendations to us. And so we can work with the union, we can work with the chief, we can work with the city manager's office to correct those issues from a policy standpoint. Make a motion and I'll second it. Well, thanks. You currently have a motion to uh, have Ms. Chattergoon uh, continue the investigation uh, that was started with respect to her supplement letter and anything else that comes second. up. Second. You did second. Well, I'm can I, can I amend it to add it's, my- It's my, been going on so I long, I just want to get this. So can I amend sure. it to then, once that investigation's concluded, that we hire a third party consultant to make recommendations on policies and procedures and other things that we're not experts in, so that we can, better, I, we can better make those policies. There's nothing to prohibit you from doing that once you get the investigation back. I, my recommendation should be you- Is the wait on with, that? Is wait on that, see what the investigation okay. comes back right. with. Okay, all right. I'm still but I'm not the policy maker. Because I think you made a good point. All right, and your light's still on. Do you want to say anything? So are you continuing well, with the person? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to comment again about the Civil Service Board and the HR. We need to expand uh, these uh, Train, or, or, the, the oral exams. We need, to, we, we need to figure out how to make. You, you need to revisit the purpose of the Civil Service Board. How's that? Exactly. Well, that's one part, but yes. Yes. All right, so All right, as long as we're doing uh, that. Uh, Commissioner Simone. I am really confused as to how, from what the uh, investigator said, how the people on the prevailing side are sticking with their original vote and not bringing this up for a new vote, seeing that there is a definite problem with the chief and with females and it's not gonna be solved by workshops. It's, that's, that's his, his personality, apparently. And that was made clear by the investigator. So how can you allow him to stay after what the investigator just got up and said? It is just completely baffling my mind. And I don't disagree with you, Commissioner. I, I, I still think there's going to be issues in, in the end, but clearly we don't have the support for that. And so I've got to go with the cards I'm dealt with at this point. But I do agree with you. So, okay. So we have a motion on the table for a continuing investigation. I know. So I got to open up to the public. Rich. Rich Alianello, I'm breathing with you guys tonight. I don't know if you, you should look at the books and see how much you have in there now to get this over with. We would like to get it over with. I know you people are doing the best you possibly can. I'm going to give you credit. As a citizen of Margate, by the way, folks, I live in this city for 30 years, and I've seen a lot of people sit up there and these guys are doing everything possible to get the fairest deal going for this gentleman. For everybody. For everybody. I mean, I'm just saying this, if we, if we spend more money and do more investigation, what more can we find? Can we find more? I mean, it's, if more people have problems, is, is it gonna make it better? No, it's gonna make it worse. So can't we work with what we have? You know, it's, 12.30, folks, almost. You guys want to go home, I know. But can we get this over with? Yeah. Look at it. You got five years up there. Just look at the information you have. Do we have enough to do this tonight? I would like to see the chief go home with at least something on his mind. And he says, oh, you know, I mean, Trust something me. to say, you know, let's, it's, it's starting to materialize the way I want. Because I would say he's going to work with his union before we do anything else. I was a union representative. I was a chief steward for an airline, and I was International Association of Machinists. And trust me, 
This man has to go through all the channels to work with his union 100%. You guys are trying your best to do what you can, but at the same time, when he makes his decision, he's gonna to go to his union and say, am I doing the right thing? Are we on the right track? And I'm sure the union representative is gonna say, let's see what we can do. And we're not finished yet. But, you know, I'm only telling you this from my past experience, because, you know, I've never seen anything like this before, but, you know, working for an airline and being a, being a chief steward, I had a lot of experience with different things going on. This is probably very, very uh, much of a problem for you guys to work with. But if you can work it out tonight, let's do it. If not, do what you got to do. Thank you, Rich. Is there anybody else next? Donna Fellows, you want to say that he's against women. He's not against women. He hired 40% more since he became chief. He's promoted 30% more since he became chief. What is this against women? He's not against women. He's not against anybody. Men, women, black, white, Chinese, transgender, nothing. He's not against that. Y'all need to see that. Y'all saying that he's against women, he's not. He's proved, he's got the facts that he's hired more and he's promoted more. <clears throat> Come on. Thank you. Next. Tracy Van Winkle, what is it that we're looking for in this investigation? I mean, are we, are we gonna, all the officers that did the no confidence vote. Are we going to pull all of their text messages and see if they said that chief was a dick or chief was an asshole or I mean, where are we going to go with this? Everybody calling each other names. I, I don't understand where we're going to go with this. Because if you find one of the officers that wrote a text message that chief was a jerk or an asshole or whatever, what are you going to do to that officer? Nothing. Are you going to bring him up here and crucify him and terminate them, suspend them with no pay. I don't understand what we're doing more of an investigation for. Well, I think in fairness, it could be policy violations. If there are other officers that have messages that didn't turn them in, that they knew about. But are, are they going to turn in the whole message or just their part? Because the whole messages weren't turned in. Horn took out what he didn't want to send. You didn't see the whole thing. You can, you can, you know, cut out what you don't want to send. Mm -hmm. So are they going to get the whole message or are they going to get everything? I don't understand why we're opening all this Pandora box. Margate's already, I mean, we're already on the scope. I mean, the carnival, everything else, everything else in Margate. And we got no restaurants. All the restaurants are closing. They're all leaving. Okay. I appreciate that. I mean, thank you. Come on, guys. Is there anybody else? All right, before we vote, guys, I'm just going to say the same with what the residents just said. I don't even know where you guys want to go with this. Another investigation. We just we just were told that the only text messages given were the ones that want to be given. They weren't full text messages. So I don't know where you guys want to go with this. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to be working as a, as a group here. We just decided to keep the chief for a little bit longer, see what happens. But yet again, now we're gonna open up another can of worms, which I'm sure every union person here is gonna have something to complain about. And what's that gonna do? It's gonna make it so they're gonna be untouchable. This is a giant squirrel chase going in a circle. If you guys wanna do something, I do not recommend the investigation. There's a process right now. If somebody's upset, whatever, go through the process. But to start a whole nother investigation, it's going to be a nightmare. I'm not going to support it. And you guys are going to be, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have done this because it's going to be a mess. So that being said, we will call the vote. David. Yes. <clears throat> is this or is this not something that you would recommend that we continue to do? I probably won't answer that. I'm dying to hear. Well, I, I think from a legal perspective, uh, from a liability perspective, whenever you have any potential, um, whenever you have it, it, it brought to light that there's any potential um, 
uh, or existing issue. You know, whether it's a, a cracked sidewalk, whether it's a, um, you, know, you know, a faulty vehicle, uh, whether it's a bad driver, whether it's a, a rogue employee, I think the city does have a legal obligation to look into that, to uh, see what the issues are. Um, and then if there's, if there's anything to come from that, um, if you don't conduct the investigation, you won't know. Um, so that's, you know, but there's so, so question. we're here to ask for that. We can ask for an investigation on the chief. Right. What the commission wants to do is do an investigation on everybody. Maybe that's your job and his job to do, not our job. That's really not up for us well, to do. We, we can't to... do nothing. When this information comes back mm -hmm. and it's found that this officer said this and that, what are you guys going to do with it? You're going to tell Kale to take care of it? If you guys really want this done right, let Kale or let David do it. Let them ask for it. Let them do the investigation. And then you know what? Report back to us because okay. there's nothing we can do if this comes back rogue. What are you going to do? Well, I, well, I believe I think that we have to approve the funding to conduct the investigation. I didn't, and, I didn't think this and, was about officers saying nasty things I, to I think other the, officers. The, the issue, I thought this was a, yeah. specifically. I mean, the, the issues before you in the supplemental report that Ms. Chattagoon provided are related to additional complaint regarding Joseph Galaska, chief of police. So to the extent that that is going to be investigated, that's under your purview because it's an investigation, the chief. The other issues that may come up, um, it, you know, with respect to any other officers, policy violations, policy violations that's typically handled through internal affairs. OK, so I don't play a role in that city managers and play a role in that. And the, you know, the hope is that through internal affairs, through the chain of command, that whatever issues are there are, are dealt with through their policies and procedures. So what you're voting on tonight is primarily with respect to this additional uh, complaint that Ms. Chattagoon prepared. Um, and she'll, you know, if you authorize it, then she will conduct a more thorough investigation to identify the facts related to those two matters and bring that back to you for your review. I don't think that this motion is saying that she's going to conduct a whole investigation of the entire police department. Or would I? Or would I want that? And, and I think if she comes at the end of her investigation, she comes up with other issues or other recommendations, she may very well decide to put that in the supplemental report. And whether that's within your, home whether it's end. within your, your, your where does no, it end? Well, I, I don't know where it ends. I don't have a crystal ball. But why start it up again? That's why can't we just talk to the union and say, you know what, guys? Last anything happened in the last two months, we'll listen to it. Anything prior to that, I don't want to hear it. That's fine, <laughs> but this relates to the chief, who is your employee. So that's outside. I of, understand that, but this has it, it's a trickle down. I, I understand. I understand. And I don't disagree with you. Okay, I don't disagree with you. It's but just you, gonna be six more months of catastrophe. That's all this is. It's setting up for failure. Well, if you don't disagree with him, then explain to me why I should do it. I just explained no, to you why. No, I no, I, I the, the point that I you know, I don't know, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't say it's it's the end of it, but you have these two matters in this additional uh, supplemental report that were provided to you related to the chief, and you are the body that supervises and disciplines the chief. So it's your, uh, you know, it's your responsibility to decide whether or not to do that. <laughs> on these specific. On these specific complaints. Just those specific complaints. Right. Okay. I got it. All right. Like All right, call the roll. Commissioner Casciano? Yes. Commissioner Simone? Yes. Commissioner Serio? Yes. Vice Mayor Schwartz? Yes. Mayor Rosano? No. Motion passes. Is there, is there anything one. else that you guys want to discuss while we're here? I think I'm done. Um, no more new discussions, if I could just say something. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I know we don't all disagree up here in the in the audience. But this is what makes our country great, is it gives us the opportunity to speak our minds, whether we agree with each other or not. Um, and so I respect everyone's opinion. I respect, I don't agree with the decision tonight, um, but I respect it. And I'll do what I can to make sure that we can move forward. We've and, all and bring, been on and, some end of this. bring proper changes. 
it wasn't a personal attack against the chief. I said it in the beginning. I'll say again, he's a, he's a nice guy. And no one, no one, uh, no one is gonna, I think, dispute that. And um, it's not, a, you know, an attack on any commissioner. I know sometimes the conversations tonight were a little heated, but I think we're just speaking in passion and we all care about the city and we all think that we were trying to do what we thought was right. So thank you for those of you that agreed with me. Thank, thanks to those who didn't agree with me, but I've heard everyone and uh, I appreciate everyone coming tonight. Thank you. I just want everybody to know that this nobody's going to win at this. When this is all over, nobody's winning. It's not about winning. It's about the best for our city. We love our police department. We support them with everything they do. The residents love them. That's not going to change, I, I guarantee you. We just need to get better policy in place, better steps in place. Um, just make it transparent. That's all this is about. Everybody's a level playing field. We need to set new policy. But I can tell you what, we might have disagreed on things, but we're all here, I guarantee you, for the best for our city and our residents and our staff. Um, I don't know what else to say, guys. I just hope in six months from now we're in a different spot. I'm not with the chat. I'm just saying we're just in a better position. We're all getting along and things are back to normal. But I got to tell you. You want a healthier environment for the people. It's not going to get any better if these text messages keep coming in. It's not. It's, it's going to get worse and worse. So just something to consider. I understand you guys might be pissed. You have a text message, whatever. Take it up in another way. This is the last thing I want to do is come back here for five hours and just talk about text messages. It's, it's, we've all done it. We're all guilty of it. Everybody's done it. Just can't, can't keep it going. And go ahead. I just want to, my last comment be, listen, I go around the city talking constantly about how this is a city where people run to the police, not from the police. And I'll be damned if I have the police running from the police. We have to work this out. We can't have the police running from the police. It's got to, we've got to work together. We've got to make this work. And that's it. Yeah, if you, Kale, if you can arrange a meeting for us to discuss policy or whatever. To maybe a workshop that that'd be fine. But we do a public safety workshop and we see what happens. Guys, a long meeting. Thank you for everybody. I appreciate everybody staying here and meeting adjourned. God bless.